Thursday at 4 o'clock, which is time for the most motivational segment in all of sports. It's also time where we get to read some viewer mail. Thank goodness. Yeah, for the year 2024, we get tons of mail. Yeah. I'm not talking about email. I'm talking about physical right. letters. Yeah. There will be no cowboy in this segment. You keep I'm not joking. That. I want you to just be in the moment and not have your guard up. <laughs> Bro, trust him. I'm serious this time. I I'll lied the other hundred times. Y'all. Dear Wilds, love the show. We totally understand the first things first bowl, but we're all a little lost about the graphic for the super first things first bowl. Please advise Ryan and Brian. Ryan and Brian, you have reason to be. <laughs> so here was the uh, first things first bowl for the yeah, AFC nice. Championship. Nick was with the Chiefs. I'm above the little arrowhead because I'm also a Chiefs fan, <laughs> as everyone knows. Brew was on the Ravens the whole year. Then we're like, hey, that show was a success. Let's try to brand the Super Bowl as the Super First Things First Bowl. Again, me and Nick with the Chiefs brew, whether it's for the balance of the graphic <laughs> or that we're trying to push you toward the 49ers because we do want a little bit of tension in the show. But you have not made your decision. How, when are you going to? What's the process? It'll be a while. How long? It, it, I'm, I don't know. But the, whatever, the second half whenever the, the process, no, it'll be before the game starts. I'll give you that. But whatever the process is, coach, I'm gonna be looking at film. I might see something that I'm not expecting that to see. Nugget. Right, that a little, little nugget. nugget. That's how I went upset alert all year. <laughs> I saw things. And so little you stopped doing that. That y'all didn't see. Little thing y'all so didn't see. So what happened in the playoffs? Well, I was 75 percent no, of no, weeks that's that's on those picks. All right. <laughs> so where is the Cowboys? I, really I mean, I don't know really how I can handle it. Yeah, I'm down. Okay. All, right. all right, you were good on that one. All right, uh, at number three, it's really worse. Bill Belichick. I still don't believe the Cowboys <laughs> make an appearance. Uh, wow. Seven head coaching openings, and Bill got none of them. Now, it'd be one thing if he retired. Obviously, we want him to retire with grace and go out, you know, with all the pomp and circumstance that he should after six Super Bowls. That wasn't what happened in New England. All right, so I don't think he's retiring. I don't think he's done. But, Bill, this is good for you. Sit back. Atlanta wasn't good for you. They don't have a quarterback, at least not right now. No. Washington, not good for you. Don't have a quarterback. And what's worse than you not coaching and falling 15 games short of beating Don Shula's all-time wins record is you going somewhere else and coaching poorly mm. or not winning, all right, because you don't have a quarterback. You think the time when the divorce talk is loud now? Go somewhere and fail and see how loud it is. Mm. So sit back, take a year off. You can really, you know, relax, get away from it a little bit. Coach, go visit some practices. Go see how some other coaches do it. Get to know, study some other coordinators. He's not doing study it. Some, hold on. <laughs> study some, this is what the coaches do when they're off. Study offensive coordinators who, other than Josh McDaniels, who do I like? Who's out here? Who's good? And then also wrap your mind around just coaching. Forget all that. I want to run the whole football operations. Even if a team wanted to give you that, they shouldn't and probably wouldn't because of your age. You're 70, you'd be 73 yeah. next year when, when you would start coaching a year from now. So just wrap your mind around just coaching and maybe Buffalo, Dallas, or Philadelphia will open up after next season. Then you can go somewhere where they're ready to win. Mm. So this, is, this could be good for you, Bill. Just get used to it. All right, Bill. Um, Believe in him? Uh, just coach, baby. You've okay. been a great coach. Okay. Just coach, baby. That's what you got to do. Just coach. All Hold right, at number two, <laughs> we're going to move to the NBA. Joel Embiid. Mm. All right. Now, I think everyone on here agrees. He's been playing the best basketball in the league this season. And, and I know you've been going out there with a chip on your shoulder, Joel, because people kind of poo-pooed. Your MVP last year. They thought, oh, Jokic should have got it. The voters just didn't want to give it to him, and yours was fake, and then you didn't play well in the playoffs. So you come out to prove a point, and you have. But don't let that get the best of you. Your knee is banged up, and forget about making playing the 65 games to make the All-NBA team and win the MVP. That doesn't matter, all right? Take as long as you need to get this knee right. I don't care if you miss the next 15 to 20 games. Sit out, get your knee right for the playoffs because that's all anybody's looking at now with you. They're saying, what will he do in the playoffs? Can he at least get close to a ring? 
at this point. So I think you take your time off, let, put your ego aside. Don't worry about the MVP. Don't worry about making all NBA. Just make sure you get healthy for the playoffs. Joel, I believe in you. All right, at number one, Jerry Jones. All right, Jerry, you got a big offseason. I mean, you got to decide what to do with that. I think you've decided, but you got to pay Dak. You got to pay CD Lamb. You got to pay Micah Parsons. Those are tough decisions, but as you said, you are all in on getting the Super Bowl. Jerry, though, if you're really all in, and we've seen Micah, you know, out here on this podcast saying all these things, driving Coach Mangini crazy. All right, all right. Now, Jerry, if you're really all in, you should set the tone with your football team and stop doing all the media. And if you if you go to Micah Parsons, who I don't think should be doing a podcast this young without any jewelry on yet, or you know, rings, championships, you go to Micah and say, look, Micah, this next year, we are all about football. Period. We're gonna win this Super Bowl. All right, first time in 30 years for the Cowboys. I am so all in, I'm not doing any media. So let's you follow like you do what you I do. Quit and you together, stop doing you yeah, quit your yeah. media off. Like you stop media. your podcast. <laughs> I'll stop doing all my nonsense. And that will set we a good culture. Each other and and people think it's silly. Think it's people think, idea. oh, what they just talking at. No, I think it sets a tone in that culture. So Jerry, if you really want to win, that's what you need to do. Jerry. I'm watching. You. There you go. Okay. There you go. Excellent list as always. Thank Chris. you. I, mean, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to add one person. I'm going to add uh, Jake Money Moody to the list. The San Francisco Forty wow. Nine. This is a good one. The San Francisco Forty Niners rookie kicker, and he he got the nickname in in college. But the reality is, he only kicked or the first time he ever kicked a winning field goal was November of his of of his last year at Michigan, and that was against Illinois. Then you fast forward to this year, he started hot. Missed the field goal against Cleveland for the game winner. He was 24th in field goal percentage. He's missed either a field goal or an extra point in each of the last three games. Uh So there's all those elements, and I've been part of a lot of Super Bowls that came down to the kicker. And we all remember those, those, those Super Bowls that came down to the kicker and went the other way. So there's a lot of pressure. And here's the other problem. There's bullies in Kansas City. I don't know if he's seen the video. <laughs> yes. But there's bullies in Kansas City. So you go get a couple of your bigger friends and you set up wherever you want to set up and see whether or not the quarterback wants to kick you out of the way. But don't let him. Don't let him and don't be intimidated by him. It's a terrible and be ready idea. to earn that nickname here in the Super Bowl. When you get a chance to send Kansas City home. Look, I like bring Bosa up there with you, Chase Young. Bring your crew. Let them hold the ball for you. (laughs) And he's going to have to make some big kicks. We saw him miss one last week. So, uh, yeah, that's good. All right. You know I hate to do this, bro. (laughs) I am adding... Chris Broussard oh. to the bud list. You don't Chris do it. First Broussard like you don't do it. is trying to execute to potentially a flip-flop for the ages. What? I so, have not made a choice. Uh, he's, that's why I said you're contemplating. So a quick history lesson, America. Since we have been back in this studio, mm-hmm. no one has believed less in the Kansas City Chiefs then Chris Broussard. Last year Mahomes. picked, you might love Mahomes, last year picked Josh Allen every step of the way to beat them. And then when they when Josh Allen didn't get to the AFC title game, picked Cincinnati to beat them. This year, before the season, Chiefs won't even make the Arrowhead Invitational this season. It's going to have to be held somewhere there was else. No yeah. He was half right. It was held somewhere else. Yeah. But it was no, he didn't think the Chiefs were going to be playing in oh, it. Okay. And then the playoffs begin. And he told us, close game against Miami, but the Chiefs can edge it out. And then they blew him out, and he said, well, it was chilly. Then they're playing the Bills. And Brew, 10 toes down for Buffalo. And then the Chiefs beat them, and Brew was like, whoa, well, they were too injured. And in Baltimore, Brew picked the Chiefs to give up a season high in points, get beat by at least eight points, and was flirting with 14. All the while, Chris Broussard, has been extolling the virtues of one Brock Purdy. And now we have a team he has never believed in playing a player that he says ceiling is the HOF. It is. And Chris Broussard is yet, we all know it, thinking, plotting, trying to find a way to pick Kansas City. And I have one more note here that I have to check. <laughs> that was the, not um, oh, That was oh, not Oh, gosh darn it. Sorry about that. Brew? 
I'm to <laughs> quote a wise man, the Chiefs are wasting Mahomes' prime. And no matter how good you are, you don't win it every year. That wise well, man that is, is you. that is true. You don't Keep win it every year. Keep that in mind when you're making your Super Bowl pick and don't cover yourself in the shame of the ultimate flip-flop. <laughs> well, so how, what, here's the thing. What would the flip-flop be if I picked the Chiefs? Yes. I, I, I'm honestly grinding the film. I know that. You don't have to tell me and that. Looking, I'm looking for, because right now I do feel like the Chiefs. See, I, because I'm, a, I'm, I'm looking at Mahomes and it's yeah, like, man, this yeah. dude just winning. But I'm looking for reasons to pick the Niners. And I'm fine. Oh, yeah. So I, I will see. Nice, I will Chris. not be swayed by your yeah, little. Like, you bullies. just did that whole bit so you bullies. can put the Cowboys. I did not do the Cowboys. Wild told me to do it. I did not do that. Wild told me to do it. No Cowboys. Uh, quickly to the world of basketball. If you are excited for the Lakers Celtics game tonight, well, I've got bad news for you. The Celtics, who are 22 and 2 at home, and the Lakers, who are 7 and 17 on the road, are about to be well 7 and 18 because neither LeBron, LeBron. or AD are going to. Play. That was that's a controversial call. What are you saying that they're going to lose? Oh no, I'm just saying you got him on the butt list. He's not even playing tonight. Well, yeah, he can be on the butt. I'm basically okay. putting. I'm, he's on the bud list, but not because of his performance. The guy is in, as old as I am, and he's playing in the NBA. Is Darvin Ham on the bud list? Maybe. Is Darvin Ham going to make it through this road trip? Uh, maybe they're going to lose tonight. And then you go to Madison Square Garden, where I think, just a little kind of thought, I think LeBron wants to put on a show in Madison I Square agree. Garden. Nick said it would be a tryout. No, you no. You said that, wow. and I said no. I said that. I said it's like a little bit of a tryout. It's not a tryout, although I do like the, your idea that he could get traded to the Knicks. Yeah. I don't know if Rich is talking to Leon. I would hope that they can you know, mend they, the fences. You they know don't, they don't move people to the Knicks. I know, but it would be nice for LeBron to come to the Big Apple and deliver a championship, which they could. Really? Well, who are the Lakers by? just giving him LeBron? I just, no, nothing? just for the re- no Julius Bunch Randall. Pick, you saw Julius that. Randall. Yeah, he's got a Lakers, Lakers want Julius already. Randall. Yeah, they already. Yeah, they drafted him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Julius and AD played well just, together. Just for the Warriors. record, just to just for the LeBron to the Knicks play in the Garden. He's going to put on a big performance on Saturday. Are you now afraid of the Bucks with Doc Rivers? No. We just lost to Portland, and even if they're up 3-1, you're like, we got this. Yeah. I, I like the Celtics right now. Okay, Celtics are very good. Yeah. Well, how's LeBron's career against the Boston? He, exactly. Pretty if the good. Knicks got LeBron, they would be a formidable contender. Ramsey, yes or no? Ramsey doesn't want – Ramsey wouldn't trade LeBron straight up for Mitchell Robinson. <laughs> Ramsey is not the right person He gets right. He's good. See, I'm just telling you. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> that was not my thing. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.